Hello YouTube, it's Supernova, back with more Falcon 4 BMS. Today we're looking at mission planning and situational awareness. We're on day one of the Iron Fortress campaign. Opening the air tasking order window, we check the show all packages option, expand the offensive counter air section and expand package 6232. With the associated checkbox selected, the flight plan of the OCA strike from Kunsan to its target at Takung Ni is shown. Sting 7 is tasked with suppression of enemy air defences and joins from a carrier, while package escort Hornet 8 joins from the Sachon airbase. We right click the OCA strike and select the join option. While reviewing the air tasking order, note the improved data modem or IDM information. In this example, Snake 2 will be 1-1, one, 1-2, one, 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 and 1-4. Sting 7 will be 2-1 and 2-2, two, two, and Hornet 8, 3-1 and 3-2. Up to 8 IDM equipped aircraft can exchange data link information. The IDM links the aircraft avionics subsystems to the UHF and VHF radios, converting the digital data to audio signals. The process is then reversed by the receiving aircraft. Data link symbology is displayed on the horizontal situation display, or HSD, and the fire control radar, or FCR. To complete mission selection, we open the frag order and select flight lead. We review the mission briefing for information on target, weather, and support. All right, listen up. In this example, our target is one of several facilities at Takung Ni. Weather is sunny with a 4 knot wind, and support is provided by an E3 sentry, callsign Chalice 1. Opening the loadout screen, we note that our aircraft is equipped with two GBU 24B laser guided bombs and a targeting pod. The target is located at steer point 7. We recon the target area and as the radar is marked as a very high value target we select it and set it as a target type steer point. Steer point 7 now points to the precise latitude and longitude of the Takung Ni radar. Bullseye is located to the southeast of Seoul. Bullseye is a shared reference point. Bearings are reported from the bullseye reference position. Use the ruler tool to find the target's bearing and range from bullseye. In this example, bearing is 320 and range is 135 miles. Making a note of this position will help with situational awareness during the mission. Set pre-planned targets or PPTs for all active SAM threats that are relevant to the mission and define the forward line of troops or flot. With mission planning complete, we save the information to the data cartridge. Before takeoff, we set up the IDM.
The FCR is set to range while search or RWS mode, with range set to 40 miles, a 60 degree azimuth sweep and a 4 bar scan. To select IDM continuous mode, press OSB 6. In this mode, information will be updated continuously. To transmit air to air information, press and hold COM switch left until the continuous label highlights to indicate it is now active. An ACMR tape can be used for debriefing after the mission. To start recording, Set AVTR to the on position. Set the UHF or uniform radio to the package frequency 349.0 or preset 6 and the VHF or Victor radio to the flight frequency which is 138.05 or preset 1. To contact AWACS, press Q. When a picture is requested, AWACS will either reply with the bullseye position of the nearest threat, or if no threat aircraft are present in the area, it will respond with picture clear. To identify an unknown contact on the FCR, lock the target and request AWACS to declare it as either enemy or friendly. Sentry 1, Snake 2 1, declare. Snake 2 1, Sentry 1, contact confirmed hostile. I hope you enjoyed that look at mission planning and situational awareness. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe and I hope to see you again for the next Falcon 4 BMS video.